Barry Chase, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood cinema, has left an enduring impact on audiences through her notable works in film and television. Whether it's recalling a specific moment from one of her performances that resonates with you or reflecting on the first time you recognized her on screen, Chase's contributions to the entertainment industry are noteworthy. Her talent and presence have etched memorable experiences in the minds of those who appreciate the golden era of Hollywood. We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Barry Chase in the comments below. Your stories contribute to the collective appreciation of this iconic actress and her legacy in the world of cinema. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts on a particular moment, the first time you recognized Barry Chase, or any other anecdotes you hold dear. In the glamorous realm of Hollywood, Barry Chase emerged as a captivating actress whose talents transcended the silver screen. Born on October 20, 1933, in Kingsport, Tennessee, she exuded a magnetic charm that would come to define her career. While her name may not be as immediately recognizable as some of her contemporaries, her impact on the entertainment industry is nothing short of remarkable. Chase's journey into the world of acting was unconventional, to say the least. Before gracing the screen, she made waves as a professional ice skater, showcasing her athleticism and grace on the ice. This early career choice set her apart in an industry where versatility was often overshadowed by typecasting. It was her transition from the icy rinks to the warm glow of Hollywood lights that marked the beginning of an illustrious acting career. One of the lesser known facets of Barry Chase's career is her collaboration with the legendary Fred Astaire. In the early 1960s, she became Astaire's dance partner, a pairing that not only electrified audiences, but also showcased her versatility. Their chemistry was palpable, creating a dance duo that left an indelible mark on the history of dance and cinema. Chase's ability to match Astaire's legendary footwork earned her a place among the dance elite. Beyond her dazzling performances, Chase made a notable impact on the television landscape. In the 1960s and 1970s, she graced the small screen with appearances on popular shows such as The Twilight Zone, The Man from UNCLE, and The Wild Wild West. Her ability to seamlessly transition between film and television demonstrated her adaptability and solidified her status as a versatile performer. While Chase's acting career may not have reached the same iconic status as some of her peers, her contributions to the entertainment industry are undeniable. Her journey from an ice skating sensation to a celebrated actress and dancer remains an inspiring narrative of resilience and artistic evolution. In the tapestry of Hollywood history, Barry Chase's story is a thread that adds color and depth to the narrative. Her legacy endures as a testament to the enduring power of talent, versatility, and the ability to reinvent oneself in the ever-evolving landscape of the entertainment industry. Barry Chase, the versatile actress and dancer, left an indelible mark on Hollywood with her remarkable career. Beyond her iconic collaborations with Fred Astaire and captivating performances on the silver screen, Chase's journey took interesting turns that shaped her legacy. In the late 1950s, following the success of An Evening with Fred Astaire in 1958, all three major networks sought Barry for her own specials, and Ed Sullivan expressed interest in featuring her on his variety show. However, for various reasons, these opportunities never materialized. Instead, after the Fred Astaire specials aired in Europe, Chase seized the chance to appear on television across countries like Sweden, France, Germany, and Italy. Although these appearances wouldn't reach U.S. audiences, they provided her with the perfect opportunity to explore Europe, and in the 60s, she lived for extended periods in Sweden, immersing herself in diverse cultures. Fast forward to January 2022, and Barry Chase stands as the sole surviving cast member of both It's a Mad 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 World and The Flight of the Phoenix. This unique status adds another layer to her storied career, highlighting her enduring presence in cinematic history. Delving into her experiences during the 50th anniversary celebrations for It's a Mad 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 World, Chase shared a fascinating behind-the-scenes moment. 
When securing the role, she hadn't danced for a while and carried an extra 10 pounds. Given a choice of three bikinis for a wardrobe change, she opted for the black fringed one, hoping the movement would distract the audience. Cleverly, she used the top's construction to enhance her figure, showcasing both her creativity and resourcefulness. Barry Chase's career, marked by unexpected twists and international acclaim, stands as a testament to her resilience, adaptability, and contributions to the global entertainment landscape. Her story adds a unique thread to the tapestry of Hollywood history, illustrating the enduring power of talent and the ability to navigate a dynamic industry. Barry Chase, the versatile actress and dancer, made an unexpected mark in Hollywood with her unique approach to roles. In a surprising turn of events during the 50th anniversary celebrations for It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, she revealed an interesting behind-the-scenes anecdote. While in Sweden, her agent called with news of an audition with Stanley Kramer. Unaware it was for a part Kramer's wife had suggested for her, Barry flew back and secured the role. The catch. She had to play the character as if she were stoned, a concept not common in 1963 society. To master the portrayal, Steve McQueen, a fellow actor, assisted her in understanding the nuances of being stoned. This unconventional approach not only added a unique flavor to her performance, but also showcased her adaptability and creativity on set. Chase's career also took an unexpected turn when she debuted her Las Vegas act in the condo room of the Sahara Hotel in April 1963. Sharing the bill with a John F. Kennedy impersonator, Von Meter, she brought her charisma to the stage. Choreographed by Hermes Pan and dressed in costumes designed by Jean Louis, Chase demonstrated her prowess not only as an actress but also as a captivating performer beyond the traditional confines of Hollywood. These instances underscore Barry Chase's ability to navigate challenges in her career, from spontaneous character choices to successfully transitioning from screen to stage. Her journey is a testament to her resilience and versatility, adding a distinctive thread to the tapestry of Hollywood history. Barry Chase, renowned for her versatility, made an impactful mark on Hollywood. Beyond her celebrated partnership with Fred Astaire, one intriguing aspect of her career lies in the uncharted territories of film roles. Originally slated for the part of Claudine in the film Can Can, Chase faced an unexpected twist when 20th Century Fox reassigned her dance numbers to Shirley MacLaine. Unwilling to accept a diminished role, she left the project, eventually buying out her Fox contract. This bold move not only showcased her commitment to her craft, but also highlighted the challenges faced by actresses in navigating the intricacies of the industry. Her journey continued with notable guest starring roles, such as the title character in the Bonanza episode, The Ballerina, a script penned by her brother, Frank Chase. This familial collaboration added a personal touch to her diverse repertoire, emphasizing her adaptability across different genres. In addition to her cinematic ventures, Chase's foray into the world of television showcased her versatility. Her dance prowess and acting finesse graced popular shows like The Twilight Zone, the Man from Uncle and the Wild Wild West during the 1960s and 1970s. This transition between mediums underlines her ability to seamlessly navigate the dynamic landscape of the entertainment industry. As we delve into the layers of Barry Chase's career, it becomes evident that her choices, both on and off the screen, reflect a determined artist who defied industry norms. Whether challenging studio decisions or collaborating with family, Chase's story unfolds as a testament to resilience, adaptability, and the pursuit of artistic integrity. As the curtains gracefully descend on this cinematic journey through the illustrious career of actress Barry Chase, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of memory and admiration. Chase's indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment invites each of us to ponder our unique connection with her craft. Whether you were swept away by the elegance of her dance or captivated by the depth of her performances, now is the moment to reflect. Take a pause, let the echoes of her on-screen presence resonate within you. What memories of Barry Chase linger in the corridors of your mind? What emotions do her performances evoke? Share with us your reflections, your cherished moments, as we weave a collective ode to this luminary of the silver screen. In the vast expanse of cinematic history, Barry Chase's artistry stands as a testament to the transformative power of storytelling. Your thoughts, your memories, they add layers to the narrative, 
creating a mosaic of appreciation for the craft that transcends time. As we draw the curtain on this moment of introspection, we extend our gratitude for joining us on this journey. Thank you for allowing Barry Chase's legacy to resonate within your thoughts. Your engagement breathes life into the enduring impact of her contributions to entertainment. Reflect, reminisce, and share for in these shared moments, we celebrate not only the actress but the shared experiences that make cinema a timeless voyage. Appreciatively, 